Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're touring the Maple Floor Plan. Beautiful, modern, 2,500 square feet, four bedroom home built by Richmond American Homes in the north side of the Las Vegas Valley. To be specific, we are at Fullerton Cove, which is a, the newest community by Richmond American Homes. And we're located right off of the 215 freeway up north. Look at those mountain views. And also uh, the intersection is Losey. Uh, today we're touring the Maple floor plan. Now this one has never been modeled before in the valley, so I'm excited to see it. And this is actually the first time I walk in with you guys, so I'll give you my genuine reaction to this and what I see. Okay, this is nice. So you walk in, you have a two-four ceiling. Beautiful stair rails all around. I've never seen this floor plan by Richmond. Now what's interesting is that they you don't see anything when it comes to the dining room, living room, which might be a really, you know, positive thing for a lot of people. I personally like to kind of see a little bit, but then having to go in to see it. That's my preference. But this is a nice setup. Look at that. You get the loft. The loft looks huge upstairs. And then walking in, let's see what this has to offer. I mean, 2,500 square feet. You have powder room here downstairs. Okay. Plenty of storage. Coat room here. Okay. Nice upgraded tile on the floor. It's about the first floor. Oh, okay. So you have your garage right here to the right. Oh, nice. Okay. Now we're talking. Nice open floor plan. It feels kind of narrow. Personally, not my preference but I can see how this might even have a primary bedroom on the first floor. And that's probably why it has a more narrow setup because obviously they have to allow enough room to the left side to put in that, that you know, that bedroom downstairs. And that's why they took, up, take, they took all this space right here downstairs. So it makes sense, but it's still a nice floor plan. And for having the primary downstairs, let me double check on that because it's the first time I see it with you guys. But we'll talk about pricing, where we stand, how much these upgrades are. And, oh, nice. So primary bedroom on the first floor. It's official. Look at that. King size bed. Plenty of room in here. We have about 14 feet on that wall by 16 on this one. So it's a very spacious one. And check it out. Wow. Dual underground sinks. We have the full walk-in shower with the seat as well. Tiled all the way to the ceiling, which is an option that you can choose at the design center. Your water closet right here, and no way. Now that's genius. Full washer and dryer downstairs in the owner's closet. That's awesome. Because what happens is, what I'm guessing here they're trying to do is they're trying to sell this house to, you know, someone that has a, maybe like two families in one, or maybe other people that are gonna live downstairs. So if someone wants to live downstairs, they have washer, dryer, everything they want downstairs, and a full open floor plan with everything they need. And then the second floor is optional if they wanna go upstairs. So this is a great option for anybody that wants that kind of feature. And I think it's awesome. Look at that, GE appliances, they have the cooktop, upgraded appliance package. Refrigerator built in with the cabinets. We have quite some upgrades in the model. They want to show you what you can do at the design center if you spend a bunch of money. But this sliding door is definitely a must in this whole in this home. Just because we don't have much light coming in from the back, we don't have as many windows. You definitely need to upgrade to the sliding door, in my opinion. But hey, everybody has a different opinion on that. So. Really great option though for the bedroom downstairs. That's great. This is pretty much like having a single story, a small single story with another, uh, with bedrooms upstairs, you know, but you could live downstairs if you wanted to, or maybe as a, 
you know, let's say you buy this and you want to stay here for now, you're good with the bedrooms downstairs, upstairs, but then later on you don't have to go upstairs. So, great option. I think this is going to sell well for a lot of people that, that need that kind of primary bedrooms on, on the first floor. Let's go see upstairs what it has to offer. So, downstairs we do have some upgrades. Uh, obviously the flooring, that's going to run you around 20 at the design center, maybe 15. Actually, yeah, 15 because it doesn't have much square footage um, downstairs. We have the quartz. This is a level one quartz, so it's not going to be too expensive. Maybe about two, three grand to upgrade it. And then the cabinets. Uh, this is probably the most expensive part because these are uh, real, real wood. Where's the laminate? No, this is real wood. So painted real wood. So full overlay. This is going to run you, I would say, 8,000 or so to, to get that upgrade. Nice modern touch with the, with the flush crown. That's great. Here's your pantry as well. That's spacious. It's convenient to have the double doors. It looks great too. Now they did upgrade to the eight foot doors on the first floor. It comes with uh, the nine foot ceilings on the first floor, not the eight foot doors. That would be an upgrade, okay. But yeah, one and a half bathrooms downstairs and then going up to the second floor, we have, let's see, let's see. Look at that loft, very spacious. Okay, so starting price for the Maple is 450, okay? $450,000 plus upgrades and lot premium. Where are we gonna be out the door? No SIDS or lids in this community, which is great. I mean, here you could be at 500 out the door for this house if you don't get many upgrades. But if you want something like the model home, we're gonna be at 600, let's say. Bathroom to the right, you have your laundry room to the left, and then only two bedrooms upstairs, okay? Alternatively, what you can do is you can put in an extra bedroom up here. So from this wall, it will cut it off all the way down and you will put a full bedroom upstairs, okay? Uh, and then you have a small little loft right here, kind of like a desk area, which is okay, but I prefer this huge loft. Look at that. Laundry room has plenty of upgrades, probably about $8,000 in upgrades here between washer, dryer, sink, and upper cabinets. And then the bedrooms upstairs. Whew. Wow. That is spacious. Look at that. Full walk-in closet. This is a primary bedroom size. I mean, I wish they would have added an extra bathroom upstairs. Like, everybody gets their own bathroom. Now you have three primary bedrooms, pretty much. Instead, they didn't. So that's a little bit, a little bit of a flaw. I think they would have had having the double primary, the double owner suite, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is triple one, actually. It would have added quite some value to this house, in my opinion. Wow, that's great. I love it, though. Everything feels very spacious. We have nine foot ceilings on the second floor, which are upgradable to the nine foot ceilings. Otherwise, you get eight foot ceilings. And it's really nice. The second floor is very bright as well, with all the light coming in from all the walls. Spacious loft very big bedrooms all three of them so if you have the three bedroom option otherwise you can get the fourth bedroom right there place of loft let me know what you guys think uh is this a house that you would get how much money would you spend on this um five hundred thousand out the door i don't know let's see the backyard real quick i don't think i showed it to you they do have the upgraded uh, covered patio as well so that's a great option but it gets expensive once you start putting in all those options. And they do have uh, also some pool size lots if that's what you're interested in. 
All my information is down below in the description, guys. If you need an expert when it comes to new construction and real estate out here in Las Vegas, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be glad to assist you and earn your business to provide you the best service possible, especially if you're relocating here. I'm an expert at that. I will get you all the information you need to make this transi transition as easy as possible. Nice corner lots as well. Beautiful. And negotiate also on your behalf. Be there all along the way while you're building your brand new home and do all the inspections that you need to do on the house that most new home buyers don't know what they're doing and they don't do those inspections and have issues later with the builder. So if you need that person to guide you and grab your hand and say, let's go this way, I'm here to help you. All my information is down below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, guys. Come on, do it. Just do it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way you get videos like these every day. See you on the next one.